here like it's like a 0.6 mile of a walk though. Not going down there. 18 north, this way. morning. I'm on trail now for about an hour and 45 minutes. It's been pretty good. Um, had rocks this morning, but nothing like the rocks we've been dealing with, which is very nice. Wish it would stay this way, but we'll see. I don't mind stepping around rocks. That's normal trail activity, but those Pennsylvania rocks where you can't put your feet down anywhere without being twisted or you got to step goofy or it's just so tiring but today's been real nice we got uh did 15.7 yesterday is what we ended up doing went to a campsite up on top of the ridge we we're hiking kind of windy but it's beautiful there was uh, no water, of course, so the last spring, you know, I filled up. I had three liters of water. And then the other thing that you know is going to happen on the AT, you got to carry water. You got to go uphill. So that's what we did. Got to the top of that ridge. And the campsite was real nice, so I was on a bit of a slant, which... Uh, I find causes because my feet were pretty tired at the end of the day, especially my right foot aching quite a bit. Is when you're on a bit of a slant, my feet ached all night long, even though I took you know a couple of Advil PM, didn't matter. My feet were down below my body. That's what I love about my hammock. Uh, my feet are always above my heart, so the, they, they kind of recover a lot better. Anyway, 15.7 yesterday. Um, Slept good though, even though my feet ate. <laughs> Feel good this morning. Today we're doing right around it's like 20 and a half or 21, some in there, somewhere in there. But again, like it's been for a long time now, water is a real tricky situation. So there is no water at the shelter we're going to. But people, somebody's been going in there. Somebody in a red jeep, from what I understand has been going in there and putting 20 and 30 gallons in the bear box. So we're hoping there's some water there today. I'm gonna to still carry at least two liters with me to that because there's a water source not far after that shelter, a mile or two. So I'm gonna carry at least two liters. And the problem again there is, is the last known good water source is like four and a half, five miles from that shelter. So got another water carry today. Uh, good news is, I mean, we've had this, all this beautiful weather. It's been overcast the last couple of days and been nice and cool. This morning was nice and cool. Tomorrow morning is supposed to be in the 40s again. But with all this nice, cool weather, um, we haven't had any rain in a long time. So I believe in about four or five days, we got a stretch of about four days where there's a good possibility of rain every day. This place definitely needs it. The, the um, I noticed the morning, this morning the orange, the orange, the, the sun was quite orange. And as we passed a fire tower yesterday, there was people up there actively searching for a fire. There's a fire, you know, fire fireman, whatever, up there in a the tower. He's on the radio and they were trying to pinpoint something. But this morning, I'll have to look at the news. Whatever it was, kind of blew up. There's smoke everywhere. Not so much where it is. I can't smell smoke like we do in Idaho, but uh, you can see it. it's really hazy all over the place and the sun was bright orange this morning, which we see quite a bit out west. <laughs> so anyway, that's about it. Pack feels good. I got rid of some stuff this last, sent some stuff home and I didn't think it'd make that much difference, but even with all the food, a normal, the big four day, food carry that I usually bring. The pack
pack just feels better these last few days. So maybe I did make a little bit of difference, hopefully. Anyway, head north. Hope everybody has a good day. And hopefully, one of these days, I'll remember to close out the video when I get to camp. So, talk to you later. Yeah, remember how I just said the rocks weren't so bad? Yep. Right back to him again. <laughs> say it's the greatest water source in the world. It actually smells like a sewer. So I would not be getting any water out of here. Definitely hazy. I've heard from several people that this smoke is coming in from uh, fires in Nova Scotia. It wasn't too bad yesterday, but today it's really set in. So. Just stopped at the uh, Mountain Harbor, Mountain House, Mountain House restaurant down there at Culver Gap. Uh, Flying J had left her trekking poles at her daughter's house and she grabbed an old pair from her apartment. And then her daughter brought them up to him today. That was awesome. But uh, yeah, best burger that I've had on the trail so far. Um, they came closest to cooking it medium rare and it's not just not making, sending it to me well done and saying that's good. So thank you, Mountain House. Mountain House? Mountain something. <laughs> I can't remember. That was 10 minutes ago. But oh, fantastic. Great little stop. And now we're headed out. We got another, well, at the point when we left it, we had another 8.9 miles to give us a 21 mile day. And we'll be at the shelter. But uh, the water situation between here and that shelter is not good. <clears throat> so I drank a ton of water at the restaurant and a Coke, filled up my water bottle and see how far I can get before I have to get water. You later. All right, another fire tower. I wonder if I can climb this one today. They were busy in it the other day, the other fire tower. 